Page 92, Hungarian Dance Number 5 by Brahms. It's a very, very famous piano piece. This is a simplified arrangement, but that's okay. You're getting an idea of at least what the melody is like, and it's kind of fun to play. Uh, so let's talk about a few of the tricky spots in it. Starting with the right hand. First line isn't too bad till you get to the last measure of the first line. Make sure you get the index finger on that th on the F. Okay. Because you're playing the A before it, the whole note A with the third finger. So you got to come down for the index finger. So there. Now in the second line, in the second measure, see those eighth notes? I don't like the fingering at all. And it doesn't work if it's fast. And this is a fast piece. So if you ever consider speeding it up, that fingering won't work. All right, it's okay if it's slow. But this piece moves if you really play it. You can listen to recordings of it on YouTube. You get an idea how fast it goes. That's not the speed you have to take it, okay? The speed is secondary. You and the music is first, all right? You gotta play it correctly and under control first. But I'm telling you, I don't like that fingering. So on those eighth notes, I would suggest you do a three, two, three, two, one. On that, just using it. Huh? That's a much quicker little fingering once you get used to it. It's handy, I suggest you learn it. The last two measures of the second line, you see the eight VA? Instead of here, you're going to be up here. Got to go an octave up. In the third line, let's talk about those eighth notes in that passage. Now, in the real thing, this moves. Okay, we'll slow it down. It's okay. I, this is a sequence, and you could do the same pattern thing on a sequence thing. Let's just take a look at their fingering here. You start with the third finger, and you. Over. I don't like the third finger where they're showing it there on the C. I would prefer an in index finger, the second finger there. But because uh, on the first measure of the fourth line, we have that same passage we had before. And so I'm recommending three, two, three, two, one. And on the chord, the second measure there, the fourth line, I recommend a two, three, five. You just played the A. All this is is an extended position for an A minor chord. You don't need to move the hand around any more than you have to, so that's much safer to play than what they're saying. But you do what you want. Yeah, I mean, you have a rest. You can do it. I just, my tendency is not to move the hand. For the third measure, that fourth line, the two E's, the half notes, you can do the 4-4, four, four, but I would do a 3-4. In the fifth, the last line on page 92, right hand, you have the, the half note's not bad, you can handle that. That's the eighth notes. That This pattern is tricky, especially to play fast. You know, it's just like, what? You may have to work it out very, very slowly. The, the fingering is fine. You're starting with an index finger on the C sharp. Just know that the pattern is a bit tricky. So work on that. Just gradually speed it up. Never play it faster than you can control. And play accurately, of course. Same pattern is at the top of page 93. Well, the first two notes of it is at the bottom of page 92 just different notes. It's the same same fingering pattern. Okay, And at the end of the first line on page 93, same fingering pattern. You're getting it. And the second line, same fingering pattern. So we'll work on that and try and get that out. I don't have another fingering to suggest. Just use the fingering that they're providing us. Fine. On page 93, third line down, right hand, you have this. 
I recommend on those repeated E's, those staccato E's, you do a two on two. This Vivace, Vivace is very fast. Vivace is like a super quick, okay? It just isn't time, and try to use the same finger. Two on two on. Just practice and get it. So you're not using the same finger all the time. It happens again a little later on. And the line is repeated, you gotta play it twice. So yeah. On the fourth line down on page 93, again, the right hand, it's the last two measures. You have these. It's up to you. The Vivace again, see the tempo keeps changing. In the first two measures of that fourth line, it's on Dompty. Uh, so that's kind of a leisure speed, nice and slow. Then the last two measures of Vivace takes off again. Boom. Then on the last line, first two measures are slow again, and then it takes off again. It's typical, it's just. You know, it's like, what? But that's sort of what they're saying. So I don't like repeating the notes, repeating the keys, repeating the fingers. Especially the thumb. The thumb is an awkward finger to use anyway, and if you have to play it quickly, ugh. So I would recommend you use this fingering if you can work it out. Work it out slowly and get it. It starts on the Vivace, on those quarter notes, okay? Uh, uh, this is the fourth line down. You have, start out with three, then go two, then three, then two, and then three on. Another way of doing it is three, two, three, one, two. Again, on the staccato one, especially on the quick ones, you got to use finger because wrist is too slow. Right? you got to poop, 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 poop. just good luck with it, okay? It doesn't matter. You don't have to play it all that fast. All right? Just have fun with it. You have fun. How fast you end up playing it is however fast you can play it under control and play it accurately. All right? That's it. At the beginning, it's allegro moderato, they say, but it's in cut time. So it's, it's, it's how, what? That's fast, but it's for a cut time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's fine. If you want to try it that fast, but you don't have to. You can play it. Just keep it slow if you want to keep it under control. The Vivace on the page 93 is supposed to be faster than that. That that moves. is slow, and then it picks up, and then slow, and then at the end, the last two measures, Vivace. But not faster than you can play, all right? Don't go as fast as I can play. Go as fast as you can play. Not a lot to say in the left hand, because the left hand has just got staccato chords. You can usually do that, and it moves around a little bit, so you can work all that out. In the second line, where it has the 8 VA, where the right hand goes up, the left hand does not go up. It stays right where it is. So don't move the left hand around. In the third line down, last two measures, it's a quarter note, quarter rest. Make sure you hold it a full beat. Well, it's a cut time, so it's a half a beat. We want to hear the rest. The mood changes. Well, it's typical of Hungarian music, okay? You got these real fast little things, and then you got the slow, lyrical, smooth stuff. And on page 92, the fourth line down is the last two measures. It's right after the fine. This is, it doesn't slow down, but it's connected. It's smooth. So, smooth, okay? 
Not with a pedal. We don't use pedal on this piece. You don't need it. Just smooth with the fingers. Now at the top of page 93, the first line, there's a pokal writ. That means start slowing down and keep slowing down to the end of the line. And then on the second line you get an off tempo, which means you're back up to speed again. It's as if you're running out of gas there. And then all of a sudden, Page 93, second line, last measure in the left hand. The first chord is a 5 1, second one is a 5 2. Good fingering, use that. Safer than trying to use 5 1 for both. Now, in the third line down in the left hand, you just got the alternating A's and E's. I recommend you just rotate the arm to get those, okay? Don't try and play it with the fingers. It's good practices for later on when you start doing tremolos and trills because that's kind of the motion. There, you, you get more of that in the last two lines on page 93 too. Anyway, let's give this a shot. It isn't cut time, so it's like a one, two, the quarter notes is going to be one and two and, one and two and, so you're going to feel that. The eighth notes, it's a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a uh. Good luck with all that. So we're going to go kind of slow on this one. I put the metronome on 50. That's slow, but it's cut time. That's half notes. So a quarter note goes one and two and one and two and bump. So that's still going to move. Those eighth notes go twice as fast as that. So it's not that slow. So let's try this. So right hand here, left hand here, no pedal. I'll give us two counts, two, two half notes, okay? Okay. Ready and go, and.